Hey y'all, all actors not on TV. When you got that money, people know how to act real good, y'all. I mean, they'll convince you that they love you. They'll convince you that they that you are their best friend. They'll convince you that you are the most ingenious person in the world. I'm trying to tell you, when you got that money, these people, they know how to act. Family, especially women, everybody, men. People know the money, man. It don't. People can smell money, Joe. I don't care how humble you try to be. I don't care how humble you try to be, how you know simple you try to be. You can't hide money. It's hard to hide money. It, even if you can hide it, it's in your demeanor. So they're gonna say, I noticed he never, he always buy what he want when he out. He always buy the food, type of food he want. He always buy, um, he, he always get, um, he never complain about bills. He always get the type of food he want. People are very observant, especially women. They know, they know when you got a high thirst level. You see what I'm saying? They know when you are hungry. They know when you are in need. They know when you are struggling. I'm here to let you know that all actors are not on TV. It's Alan Williams, the reading and y'all keep watching me but you ain't subscribing to my YouTube page. Y'all love watching me but you won't be subscribing to my YouTube page. I keep telling you, go to Alan Rillionaire. Rillionaire, look at how to spell it properly. Alan Rillionaire on YouTube and subscribe. Because all actors are not on TV, I'm trying to tell you. And some of them you think is your best friend. If you ever hit rock bottom, if you ever get sick, if you ever go broke, watch how they change man and those who don't change are real they really really fuck with you you ain't gonna have many of them but you'd be surprised how people switch up on you when they think you you'd be surprised why people like you you think oh he's cool cool you can know somebody your whole motherfucking life and they can still be liking you for a stupid reason it could be any reason sometimes people around you because they want to bring you down they competing with you. For some reason, they competing with you, and they just want to say, if I can get better than this motherfucker, I'll be all right. I feel good about myself. I know it sounds crazy, but that's the type of shit we're dealing with. I'm Alan Williams Reed, and I keep telling y'all subscribe to my YouTube page. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Because you need this real, real red pill God mouth. So I'm here to let you know, be careful who's in your circle. Sometimes act like you broke. Act like you in need just to see how people act. If they slow up on the texts, they slow up on the calls. You'd be surprised who slow up on the texts, who slow up on the calls. Some of the people you think is down for you, they will switch up on your ass quicker than fly on doo-doo. Like, once again, I tell you to subscribe to my YouTube page, Alan Rillionaire. But just all actors ain't on TV. Some of you guys all got girlfriends and you married. To women who only like you for your security, your job, they like your 401k plan, they like how much you make a year. They like the fact that you don't never be behind your bills. They like the fact that you got a nice house, a car, you know, they like the way you dress, but they don't like your personality. They tolerating you. They, they, they not connected with you, they tolerating you. It's the difference between somebody connected with you and somebody tolerating you. That's why I'm trying to tell y'all, be careful who you call friends be careful who you call loved ones be careful who you marry especially y'all men because the law is not on your side with all these child support alimony a lot of y'all men a lot of my buddies a lot of people that my clients the people that that inbox me the people i listen to and give advice to they was great men that ran into beautiful women that look innocent that pretended like they like them i'm here to let you know right now Everybody that smile in your face, everybody that suck your dick, don't like you or love you. It's a lot of, and they can have money. Don't think prostitutes can't have money. Prostitutes can have money too. Gold diggers can have money. It's not all about, you know, oh, she gotta be a pretty poor girl. Oh, nah, uh-uh. Some of these girls got money, they still want more money because they wanna spend your money, not their money. They want to spend your money, not their money. You thought they wanted to spend their money? 
Bro, 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 come on. Bro, bro, bro. You thought... <laughs> come on, man. You mean to tell me you thought they wanted to... <laughs> you thought they wanted to spend their money? Nigga, they want to spend your money. They want to spend your money, nigga. That's what they, that's what they trying to do. Some nosy ass people out here. Anyway. So be careful, man. All that laughing and, and leaning on your shoulder and acting like you the finest, like like you the you the most nicest, acting like they so adorable, you know, like so they just so infatuated with you. No. They want something from you, man. These women are actors and people are actors in general. So you just got to be careful who you are dealing with. Be careful who you call friend. Be careful who you, you know, who you let in your circle, man. Especially, especially if you're a nigga that, uh, especially if you're a nigga that got something, you know what I'm saying? If you're a nigga that got something, be careful. Be careful who you let in your circle. Because, uh, I'm here to tell you, they taking down, they taking, they taking down brothers with money, man. They taking all your motherfucking money. Imagine 18 years. You got to deal with a woman for 18 years that just, just, just wanted your baby for you because she know that you had that bread. And you got to give 10 to 15 to 20 thousand dollars a month for 18 years. She can start a business up and everything. It's an evil world, man. Y'all gotta be real careful out here. You know, you gotta stop thinking with your dick. They smile, they act innocent. Some of them don't dress like whores. It's a lot of evil people who look innocent, man. So don't get fooled by that shit. Don't get fooled because they they look innocent. They dress like Claire Huxtable or they dress like a nun. These motherfuckers out here still want your money. They still trying to take your bread because they infested with the devil. I keep telling y'all subscribe to my YouTube page. Y'all keep loving me and liking me. But subscribe to the YouTube page so you can see all the videos. Because uh, all actors ain't on TV. Some of these people can make themselves cry. They can make themselves laugh. You know women do a good job forcing themselves to have sex with you. Because they, they'll have sex with old motherfucking people from all over the world. Old men just for money. So and these be young pretty girls. So these the same girls that are... um. These the same women that are, uh, you know, that are, um, that are marry you for your money or marry you for your, you, you ain't even got to be rich. You know, they just want somebody who's willing to spend on them. A lot of rich niggas ain't willing to spend, you know what I'm saying? So they don't want just somebody with the money. They want somebody that's willing to spend them, you know what I'm saying? Willing to spend the money on them. So a lot of people got money, but a lot of, them, a lot of niggas ain't willing to spend the money on them. So you ain't got to have a lot of money. You just gotta have enough money to be able to and be willing to spend on them, and then they'll be like, "Shit, when we get married, and they'll be trying to roll over top of you in the morning." Watch that morning sex, y'all. That's how y'all get, get hemmed up. A lot of y'all dudes get hemmed up from that morning sex because the girls get on top of you, and you ain't gonna roll over and get no condom. That morning sex is what get people. They get a lot of these girls pregnant, and they know that they roll over top of you while you laying on your back and. But shit, I never was that type. I was conscious. I don't give a fuck how tired I am. I see what's going on. You know what I'm saying? So that shit ain't work on me. Cause I grab that motherfucker. I be acting like I'm sleeping. Say, Damn, how you get that condom in your hand? So don't, so don't, that shit don't fall for me. So y'all guys, don't be, don't be so zoned out where you don't even see the fact that these girls, these hoes ain't loyal. They want money. Not, not all of them, <coughs> not all of them, it just seem that way. It's not all of them, it just seem that way. So be real careful, y'all, who you deal with. Keep your dick in your pants. Try to find an innocent woman, a woman that know God or something. Because that, uh... Because what's going on out here is the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Once again, follow my YouTube page, Alan Rillionaire. Once again, I'm out, Rillionaire Nation. Don't just like, subscribe, follow, all that shit. You know what I'm saying? I love y'all.
y'all dudes be careful with your money. Women be careful. There's some dudes out here that's that's bitch 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 niggas too, bitch men. So it go both ways, but most commonly with the women. Much love.